Hi, I'm Michelle Onifre with International Mountain Connection, and today we're talking about what to bring in your backpack for a hike. And when I'm talking about a hike, I'm talking about a day hike, which means you leave in the morning and hopefully you come home before the sun goes down. There are actually 14 different essentials that you should have in your backpack. So I'm going to divide this into two videos. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit long. Before we get started, remember if you have difficulty understanding me, you can download the transcript. The link is in the description box or you can enable captions or subtitles. All right, so let's get started. The first item on our list is sunglasses. I know some people who don't like to wear sunglasses and in the mountains it's actually really important and you should make sure that you have at least a category 3 lens that's going to protect your eyes from the rays from the sun and if you can have a pair that are category 4 and this is even more important if you're going somewhere where there's still snow because that snow is reflecting the sun back in your eyes and it's really dangerous for your eyes so you need to make sure that you're protected. So just to give you an idea between category 3 and category 4, this is category 4. You can see that the lenses are quite dark and they have really good protection on the sides. Usually there's a clip that adds more protection on the sides to really keep the sun out. And these are category three lenses. I don't know if you can see a difference, but the category four lenses are slightly darker and you're actually not allowed to wear those while driving. So make sure when you're in the mountains, bring your sunglasses. Next item, sunscreen. There are people that don't like to wear sunscreen. And I understand it's a pain and you know your fingers can get sticky but again it's really important especially in the mountains. I wear at least a 30 if not 50 especially if I'm going up into a higher elevation and I'm going to be around snow. So sunscreen is going to filter the rays of the sun and if you already have a sunburn or if you have parts that are really sensitive to the sun like your nose or the tops of your ears you can use a product like this and this is zinc oxide and this is actually a sun block and it's going to block all of the rays from the sun so you will not get burned at all our next item is a hat and again, some people don't like to wear hats, but it is really good to protect the top of your head from the sun, especially ladies here along your part that does get sunburned and it does hurt. So make sure that you protect that. If you don't like wearing baseball caps, maybe you're someone who likes to wear buffs. You know, you can swish it around like this and stick it on your head. I'm not very talented with that, but whatever it is, make sure that you have a hat. You also need navigation tools. So if you decide to go high tech, that means that you are downloading an application to use on your cell phone. There are lots of great applications out there. I suggest that you do your homework and find an application that is best for you in your region because sometimes an application has a lot of trails and information for one area but it's not really developed for another country so make sure that you find an application that's good for you you understand how to download the maps and you are familiar with this application before you go into the mountains if you decide to go old school, meaning you're using a map and a compass, make sure that you know how to read a map and you know how to use a compass. These are tools that we should know how to use before we go into the mountains. 
And even if you decided to go high tech and download an application, it might be a good idea to go ahead and bring a map just in case and an external battery because these applications do have a tendency to drain your battery very quickly. You also should bring a first aid kit and first aid kits are very personal because you should have medications that you take. Maybe you wear contacts, so you need some contact solution or maybe you're really allergic to bug bites, so you need something to help you with that. If you're wearing new shoes or if you're wearing different socks, maybe it's a good idea to have something to help you with blisters. So make sure that your first aid kit corresponds with your needs. You might have something to clean a wound and then a bandage to help protect it until you get home. Remember your first aid kit is just to help you until you get home. This is not for serious injuries. In that case, obviously you need to call Mountain Rescue. Food, we also need food in our backpack. And I love to eat, so I have a tendency to bring a lot of food. <laughs> Make sure you bring food that you enjoy eating and something that's easy for you to digest. We also need to bring water and some people prefer using bottles and some people prefer using water pouches. And for me, I actually prefer water pouches because then you can drink water when you're thirsty. You don't actually have to stop and dig through your backpack to find your water bottle. But Whatever system you choose, make sure you bring enough water. Nothing is worse than knowing that you have one or two hours to get back to the car and you have no more water. Okay, that wraps up our first video for what to bring in your hiking backpack. Remember, we still have part two. And if you want to know when the next International Mountain Connection video comes out, all you have to do is click on the subscribe button and the bell. And remember, why trust International Mountain Connection with your English training? Because Brian isn't in the kitchen, he's in the mountains. I'll see you soon. Bye. Right now they're a little bit foggy because my face is so hot. <laughs>